Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD. I'm now going to show you some of the features of our gate program. So I'll just click on, click on the gate program here. And you notice that there are eight styles of gates. And there's also this Use Custom Sketch feature, which I'll show you in a minute. So I'm going to cl click Import Template. I'm just going to go with the standard gate. You notice there's all kinds of templates we already have in here. They're basically pre-filled out dialog boxes. So Style 5 is the style for this particular template. I click Draw. Here I have the punch through dimensions, very similar to our fence program. And if you have right and left vertical members go above the top bar, you can specify that you want something to happen there. I'm going to add finials. I go to next. I have my pull down choices of materials again, all the custom materials that are available in our database. So let me go to bar channel and let's do one by two bar channel. Okay. And then I got my left rail, my right rail, my pickets, uh, spacing. Let's change that spacing from three and a half to four maximum. Okay. You notice you can specify odd or even number of pickets. If you're working with a center design, you would specify odd. And the gate leaf width is 16 feet. We have checked one piece gate. We're going to make it one piece. We can specify the low height and the high height, and then you can adjust that to adjust the look of the gate. Or you could use the default setting based on the sketch on the preset styles that are available on the first page. I can either butter, cope, or miter the joints. I can label it here. I click draw. I'm just going to pick the default choice for the spear. I left click and it draws the gate and gives me the cut list like that. Now I'm going to show you the custom sketch feature. So I'm going to draw a custom gate real quick here. I'm going to draw a line 12 inches this way and go down and go 65 and go across 85 inches, go up 65, go over 12, and then I'm going to draw an arc from the end point here to there to the end point there. And I can adjust that arc. Click on here. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the gate program. I'm going to, instead of pick one of these styles, I'm going to check Use Custom Sketch. I'm going to click Draw. I'm just going to accept all the defaults of the gate I just drew. Click Draw. Use Default. It says at the bottom here, select custom drawing. So I'm going to put a window around. I'm going to left click here and left click there and then right click. And it draws the gate. It gives me the cut list just like that. Very powerful program.